All right. So you got more sci-fi movies becoming real life. <laughs> Tell us right. what's up. <laughs> All right. So uh, a little bit of preamble. Victoria Gray, a Mississippi woman, received an experimental treatment for her sickle cell disease that used the CRISPR-CAS9 gene editing technique, which allowed doctors to make very precise changes to her DNA. So after several painful months, she's fully recovered and fully active. Now, the same gene editing technique was used by Dr. He Jung Kyu, sorry for mispronouncing that, to grow <laughs> two girls from embryos, which he said would make them resistant to HIV. Now, his work was widely condemned by the scientific community and was described, they described the experiment as medically unnecessary and ethically irresponsible. And he got three years in jail for his experiments. So my question to you is, is gene editing's potential ability to fix people at the genetic level a threat to those who are judged by society to be biologically inferior? Or is it humanity's path to eliminating diseases at a genetic level? Let's lead off with Dr. T. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, y'all was using these SAT words too in here. I, know, right? I love it. I am here for it. Okay. That's Robbie. <laughs> Listen, so if I have to decode that, do I think, do I think it's necessary? I, I do. I mean, I, I don't think he should have gotten the time. I mean, I think when we have the opportunity or chance, I mean, again, I have to blame this on the healthcare system too, because a lot of, they want to see us sick so that way we can, you know, pay these ridiculous amounts for prescriptions to treat, not necessarily cure. So I feel like if there is an opportunity available and people are compliant or agree, right? Waving, saying, I'm cool with that. then I think we should explore it. I mean, it's no different than to me yeah. um, when with the COVID testing where we, they use the abortion fetal um, cells for the, co the COVID shot, you know? So, right. I mean, I feel like medicine is, is leading into that direction. Um, and I don't, I don't think that we should condemn uh, for that. So I'm, I'm a little annoyed that he got that time. Maybe I'll have to start a GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> Yanni. I'm biased though. I'm, I mean, I think on one hand, I, I'm all here for t like eradicating if, if that's, I'm, I'm, Upping my words. I'm using big words. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be like Robbie. <laughs> no, but, for, but in genetic disease, if we can stop genetic diseases in babies and future generations, like that's so cool. I'm all the way here for that. But I'm always trying to understand how are we doing that? Like I'm always one to question what are we doing like, how are you guys doing that? Are you using ethical means to do that? Or are we, gone, are we going down the weird path? Or, and it's, it's more of like that, because science can get weird. And it, it like often- but What would be unethical to you? Like the whole using baby stem cells, abortion, fetal, like I don't, that don't sit right with my spirit. Like that doesn't- oh, Really? It doesn't. I mean, I understand like it's recycling and, it's probably somehow, I mean, it's useful, obviously, but I just, it's very, it's very weird. It's very weird. I mean, it's almost like we're okay with murder. I don't know. I don't know. It just gets, it gets weird. It gets deep mm, for me. I mean, we can, deep. we can talk about it. We can talk about it on a different. Okay. I mean, but, I mean, so I you, but you're, consi you're so first of all, you, you're, you consider abortion murder. And then you're saying that. You're we're murdering children to potentially murdering children to have stem cells, mm. which is which is different I, than genetic editing. It is, is It is a different thing. A very different topic is, altogether that we could have. For... Yeah, you're right. It is different. It's a different thing. But that's I was using that more to ask in what way are we editing those genes? Like in what way are we splicing the DNA? And what are we adding into it? You know what I mean? And then also the talk of mutations. So that's, I mean, we all have questions, obviously, but I think that the effort and the goal is beautiful. Like I'm all the way here for it. Like peace and love, of course. I'm yeah, happy so. for that, but I'm just, but personally, just the process. Personally, I'm, 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 all, I'm down for gene editing because, you know, I'm, you know, I've made it very clear. I'm trying to live forever. 
<laughs> yeah, you said that. If you add another you want to live years, you want to be gene edit, you can gene edit me all you want to to give me give me another fifty <laughs> years. Add, give, give me some. Give me some. I'm all for the stem cells too. Give me whatever you got. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, sick, oh, sick cell anemia is not curable. You know, it's so not. this is like, and it is a very painful, painful. thing to go through. Yeah. Um, it's pretty so amazing. I, that's mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, but where we do need to be careful ethically is you know because we talked about this movie Gattaca, right? And so Gattaca, basically, you you start gene editing people and you have, you know higher level human beings so you have you know and then you got to figure out what's beautiful what's what's the right what is it is it right to be tall is it right to be short who sets it, that norm right, right. Who, who sets what the norm is is it right to have blue eyes so mm. the people who have blue eyes are, are gene edited is it you know are you editing women and men uh, you know what are you what are you creating uh, like and so it gets like really crazy as to like what is sense. the right thing to be you know and then you start editing these people and then they become the elite people, everybody who has blonde hair, blue eyes or whatever, or maybe it's the people who have black hair, dark skin, those are the elite people, whatever it is, you know, you start right. editing right. people That's to true. be what society is deemed as correct, then. Yeah. Right. And that's the slippery slope because if we are able to determine which genetic traits are favorable and which ones to phase out, there's going to be a long-term impact I was gonna say in too, yeah. our population. Mm. We're going to lose certain segments of our population. Groups of our population that are important in teaching us about, well, medical discovery, teaching us about empathy, what it is to actually be a caring human being. Um, so, you know, would we lose part of our sense of compassion over time? Would the normals be phased out, like you said also, Neo? Right, and, right. And what you mm. said, uh, Johnny, uh, was interesting too, because there is a fear that if a mistake is made, we can introduce a new genetic mutation into the human gene pool, which would then be passed down from generation to generation. So, but then that mutation, you got to consider into that babies. mutation could eventually be the reason that you know you don't survive COVID. You know, and that's it. If it's a, if it's a I, genetic mutation that you haven't planned for, be, that's because the DNA has been spliced incorrectly, or right. just okay. because it's, it's unnatural. So if you have a natural it's virus unnatural. that attacks you, and you know you have this mutation that makes you uh, vulnerable to that particular virus, then you're dead, right? Yeah. Because yeah. I remember I remember a Star Trek episode, a Star Trek: the Next Generation. I, you know, I know we're getting sci-fi, but where people, they did so much <laughs> gene editing and growing people in test tubes and stuff that they were no longer yeah. viably able to produce children. And so their society, they yeah. had no children in their society because, oh, you know, wow. they couldn't actually make children anymore. So, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's dangerous, but right now, <laughs> give me all the gene editing. <laughs> I, I give you all the <laughs> genes you want, edit them, put them back in, whatever you got to do. Just give me another you know, you 50, can, there's 60 people years. That are, there's people that are here now that are over 115 years old. They're probably in like Beijing and somewhere it's increasing. in the mountains. You're right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You All just right. need to They're eat well. Johnny. They're everywhere. All right, real quick. So we get, <laughs> we're way out of time. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, so Jacqueline Robson, I have no issues with stem cell research being used to cure chronic diseases. And Lizzie says, uh, I wish gene editing could fix my pancreas and crummy diabetes. People really do not understand the difficulties oh. of living with a lot of these diseases. But yes, another right. case of selective yes. outrage. Oh. We got some truth cure going cancer. on. Truth lies shenanigans. Cure cancer, cure AIDS. I got truth. I'm calling truth. Truth, truth, truth. Truth. All right.